I'm not a Jew, but I'm Jewish. <laughs> um, I've worked in Israel um, quite a bit. Um, Shimon Perez was a very, very, very dear friend of mine. And we did a lot of wonderful things together. One of the things we did was to start an online peace movement called Yala. And we now have over a million young people online all over the world. And it's very, very exciting. My trips to Israel have been extraordinarily rewarding. And the work that I've done there has been very exciting. Um, I have not been back since his death, but Israel's become a very dear place in my heart. And um, I always find that I learn a lot and um, grow a lot every time that I go. So I think I'm just, there's something I believe about creating peace in the Middle East that would be an example for the rest of the world. I think it's the uh, origin of a lot of spirituality and therefore could be influential towards determining peace in the world. Therefore, I hope that instead of, instead of creating more borders and more, you know, hard lines between people, that there become more acceptance of one another. Uh, that is my wish. So why is this gala something that you said, you know what, I want to be a part of this? Um, I thought it would be an interesting thing. I think an online newspaper is great. And I think that we, you know, it was a Yiddish newspaper. Now it's a newspaper in English. I think that to understand that we must be present in the day instead of fighting battles that lasted before and speaking a language that no longer exists is an intelligent move. So I thought that this group is deciding to be present in the day that is. And I believe that we're never going to have peace until we live in the day that we're in. Why is it important for Jewish people to have a voice? I think it's important for every person to have a voice, not as a group particularly, not as a group of Jews or a group of Irish or a group of uh, Arabs or Muslims or anything, but I think it's important that every individual has a voice and not a voice just to speak from their brain or their desires, but a voice that really comes from their feeling and from their heart because so many people are making moves that they think are smart so that I think that people today are forgetting to look at what has integrity. What does the algorithm mean to you? The word algaminer means absolutely nothing to me. I don't even know what it means. Is it a Yiddish word? What does algaminer mean? I asked. It means um, journal. Oh, it means it doesn't. All encompassing. It means all encompassing. It's a Yiddish word. It means all encompassing. Okay. All right. But in general, the organization, the paper, why, when you're reading articles, what do you think of? What does it represent? I think they tell the truth, and I think it's pretty unbiased. I don't think it leans left or right. I think it's pretty, a pretty fair journal. And what about Israel? What does Israel mean to you? Well, I love Israel. I cannot say that I find the Netanyahu choices as um, progressive as I found the Shimon Perez choices. I thought that... Perez was a voice that understood the present and the future in a way that was primarily promoting peace and compassion and intellectual ferociousness. I'm not exactly feeling the same this moment. I don't think the moves that are being made, they seem more lateral than forward to me.